Video 17 – Introduction to Wheelchair Transfers Moving your body from your wheelchair to another seat is called a transfer. This includes the motion of shifting your body to or from a bed, bath bench, toilet, car seat, or the floor. Doing transfers well will help you reach and maintain independence in the home and community and reduce your chances of falls and injury. The right technique will preserve the health of the joints, muscles, and tendons in your arms for long-term use. When you first learn to transfer, train with a physical or occupational therapist who specializes in spinal cord injury. These therapists will help you customize your technique and spot you as you practice. Start with the most basic transfer moving between a firm mat table and your wheelchair. Once you learn the key steps of a basic transfer, therapists can help you progress to more challenging transfers you may encounter in real life. Transfers include three phases, setting up, lifting, and repositioning. Transfer success hinges on understanding the progression of each phase using strategic hand placement and proper weight shifting by leaning. Phase 1. Setting up. In this phase, you will position your wheelchair and body to create a short, clear path for your hips to move between surfaces without hitting your back tire. Start by positioning the side of your wheelchair at a 20 to 45 degree angle from the mat edge. Ready your chair by setting the locks and removing loose parts such as a seat belt or armrest. Then prepare your body to shift off the seat by moving to the front corner of your cushion. Do so by staggering your hands in a trailing and leading position. Your push-off or trailing hand will be near your hip on the surface you're transferring from. The opposite hand is called the leading hand and is placed on the side you are transferring to close to the knee. This helps with maintaining balance. The direction of the transfer will change which hand is called leading and trailing. For example, when you shift your hips to the right, the right hand is the leading hand while the left is the trailing hand. Keep your hands low and close to your body, such as on the wheelchair cushion, frame, or wheel. This position provides the greatest power when using your arms. With your hands in the trailing and leading positions, lean forward and move your shoulders down and away from the mat. This uses your upper body weight as a counterbalance to lift your hips off the seat when you lean. As you tip forward, make sure to keep your shoulders down and your elbows slightly bent for stability. If you find that as you lift your hips you swing back instead of forward on your cushion, experiment with your hand placement and the angle you use when leaning. You are now ready to balance using one arm while using the other to place your leading foot on the floor. This position keeps you stable, prevents your feet from catching on the wheelchair, and reduces the likelihood that the wheelchair would slide away from you as you transfer. Finish setting up for the transfer by repositioning your hands with your trailing hand against your hip and the leading hand near the edge of the mat. Your leading hand should be extended far enough to leave room for your hips to land on the mat but not too far so that it causes you to lose balance. Phase two, lifting. Start with your hands in the leading and trailing positions and shoulders down. Lean forward and to the side so that your hips lift forward and up off the cushion and swing toward the mat. Move in a slow, controlled motion instead of pulling or sliding rapidly. A fast transfer may seem safer, but it can lead to falls and scraping of your skin. If your hip bumps against the wheel during the transfer, correct this by scooting and leaning further forward on the seat or by adjusting the starting angle of your wheelchair. Phase 3. Repositioning After you land on the front edge of the mat, you will need to move and align your hips and thighs into a stable position and adjust your foot placement. To do this, Lean forward and move your hips back. Do not lean back or drag your hips backwards as this may scrape your skin or cause you to slide off the edge of the seat. Transferring back to your wheelchair from the mat is easier because you start from a firm and open space compared to your wheelchair seat. 
Aim for a short, clear path to the front corner of the wheelchair cushion. Transferring from a position too far back next to the wheelchair requires you to lift your hips up and over your wheel. This may lead to scraping your skin or losing your balance. Before you transfer, you may want to set one foot on the footrest to help with your balance and prevent the foot from catching on the wheelchair. Transfers can be difficult when you are first learning the technique or if you have issues such as fatigue, pain, or arm weakness. In these situations, using a transfer board can help bridge the gap between your wheelchair and the mat. The transfer board should tuck under your mid-thigh and allow you to move from one surface to another using a series of lifts. Avoid the temptation to slide your hips across the board as this leads to scraping your skin and gets you out of the habit of using the proper technique of lifting your hips between transfer surfaces. Practice transferring across surfaces of uneven heights to the left and right. While it's best to avoid the harmful strain caused by repeatedly transferring to high surfaces, practicing this skill is necessary to be prepared for real-life situations. As you practice the three phases of a basic transfer, setting up, lifting, and repositioning, Focus on creating a clear, short path for your hips between seats and on positioning your body for a controlled lift. These strategies will prepare you for the diverse transfers you'll be performing regularly in your home and beyond.